So what we're trying to accomplish tonight is to give you some uh, information to successful compost and to highlight some of the benefits and bust the myths about composting and probably help you along the way with those myths is how to get it to work for you. So in nature what happens is the trees, the leaves, the plants, they die in the fall and they decompose and they, it's uh, decomposed through uh, bacterium and fungus and in the end what they leave is this stuff called humus. Okay. What we're going to get you guys, what you guys are doing is basically taking your yard waste and your kitchen organics and you're doing the same process except for you're providing a little area in order to do it in. So basically overall it improves your yard and your garden. Compost is not soil and it's not fertilizer. And our world of compost, it is actually known as soil amendment. So what it does is it enriches the soil to help plants grow. What it does is it reduces the use for fertilizers and herbicides. And what does that mean? Well, by using compost, you get to use less of these items. So you get to use less of fertilizers, so you shouldn't have to use it on your, in your plants or on your yard. And what do we mean by reducing herbicides? If you get your plants to grow nice and healthy, they can actually resist being attacked by bugs or by um, fungus or some type of disease. And that's one of the benefits of compost is it helps to plants to be nice and healthy and strong. And then of course it's a uh, slow release nutrients and that's why it's different from fertilizers because it's actually over time it slowly releases the nutrients that it has. And the other thing with compost is it comes with a whole bunch of other nutrients, whereas fertilizers are mainly um, nitrates and phosphorus base. Whereas compost comes with boron, calcium, uh, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, it comes with all these variety of nutrients which plants need in order to grow. And of course, if you're composting at home, you know what you're putting in it. And it is safe for children and pets to eat the finished compost because you haven't put anything harmful in there that can hurt them. And of course, it's for free. So if we can reduce your waste that you're putting at the curb, then we actually, in the long run, will reduce the need for the number of collection vehicles out on the road in order to pick up your garbage. What do we mean by landfill space? Well, if we're not burying your organics, then we're saving space in our landfill. 